Hello everyone, I say Nawaz and welcome back to my YouTube channel Petroleum Universe. So in my previous video we have been discussing about this factor for that particular section. So let us approach for the next for the first point which is nothing but your selection of casing size. So you have a fracture gradient and the pore pressure gradient. Between these two uh, gradients the whole mud plan is designed. And in today's video, we are going to see about uh, the numerical approach uh, to the casing design. The question is like, an intermediate section of 17.5 inch size was planned to drill at a depth of 14,000 feet. A 13 3 by 8 uh, outer diameter casing is to be set and cemented in this section. Uh, there are four casing types available in the stock which are uh, shown in the table below. The maximum burst pressure has to be assumed when casing is full of 15.8 ppg cement slurry and the fluid in the annulus is water. In addition, the maximum collapse pressure has to be assumed when the casing is full of water and the annulus is full of 15.8 ppg cement slurry. Safety factor for burst and collapse pressure was designed to be 1.18 and 1.5 respectively. We have to design an intermediate casing for this well. So in the table he has given that uh, the outer diameter of the casing is 13 3 by 8 and the grade is uh, N80 where 80 is an yield strength and N is in chemical composition which is used to manufacture this 13 3 by inch casing. casing. And he also says is that the inner diameter 12.159, 12.125, 12.031 12 and 19.937. So we have to find that uh, which inner diameter casing will be suitable for uh, these cases. So the given data is the casing depth is 14,000 feet and density of cement slurry is 15.8 uh, and density of fresh water is 8.34 ppg. Collapse safety factor is 1.15 and burst safety factor is 1.18. So in the question if you see he says that the maximum burst pressure. So when we are calculating the burst pressure the conditions is uh, the casing is full with 15.8 ppg cement and the annulus is of water but when we are calculating the maximum collapse pressure uh, the casing is full of fresh water and the annulus is full of 15.8 ppg cement slurry so why i am explaining you is like uh, let us suppose uh, that uh, this is uh, the formation and uh, this is the casing that is installed so whenever you are calculating the burst pressure we have to use the formula as 0.052 into depth of that particular section into density where density we have to consider as density in the casing minus density in the annulus because whenever we are calculating burst pressure the internal pressure will be greater than the external pressure and uh, when we are calculating uh, collapse pressure annulus pressure will be greater than casing pressure so for procedure we have what we have to do is uh, first we have to calculate how much burst and collapse pressure this particular casing can handle along with safety factor and then what we have to do is uh, we have to estimate the collapse and burst pressure of that required depth without safety factor because uh, Although when we are drilling, so we have to consider the safety factor in terms of casing, not in terms of uh, the uh, formation or depth. And after that, based on magnitude, we have to select the range of collapse and burst pressure. So wherever it matches, we, that is a casing that we have to install in this well. So let us see what are the formulas uh, that we have to use in this uh, question that uh, this is PCR is a collapse pressure which is equals to 46.95 into 10 power 6 divided by d by t into d by t minus 1 whole square. Whereas the burst pressure wall thickness correction factor into 2 into yield point uh, divided by d by t. Whereas uh, for estimating collapse and burst pressure of a required depth 0.052 into required depth uh, multiplied by the difference of uh, density of cement minus density of water. So before proceeding uh, let us uh, um, let us see that. Uh, uh, in the question he has not given that uh, there is an axial force anywhere applied to this well. We don't have to use uh, that uh, equivalent yield strength formula. And apart from that, he, di he directly given the question that uh, the formula for you for determining the casing design over here, uh, we have to use in terms of collapse, particularly this formula. So let us jump to next slide, which is uh, calculating burst and collapse pressure of casing with respect to uh, d by t ratio. Now I am calculating, although we have here uh, four different type of uh, inner diameter, but I am considering uh, for calculation is 12.031 uh, 
to just explain you how to estimate uh, uh, the collapse and burst pressure rest uh, you have to calculate so i am using here uh, for inner diameter 12 uh, 12.031 inches so the formula what i am using is uh, collapse pressure is equal to 46.95 into 10 power 6 uh, d by t into d by t minus 1 whole square so i am just substituting uh, the value as uh, you can even calculate uh, d by t ratio 19.903 and uh, multiplied by 19.903 minus 1 whole square so the answer for uh, I got for collapse pressure is like uh, 6601.69 psi. So after this I am just uh, multiplying uh, collapse pressure with safety factor at, as it is given in the question uh, that it is uh, 15%. So when you are, multi when you are uh, simplifying uh, by using this particular 15% so uh, the, f the way you have to uh, multiply uh, safety factor with this particular magnitude of collapse pressure in such a way that how I wrote over here then uh, it is like 1 minus 0 0.15 which is 15 percent that will give you uh, 0 0.85 as wall thickness so 0 0.85 into collapse pressure magnitude without safety factor will give you 56 double one four three six psi for calculating burst pressure you have to use uh, this particular formula 1.75 into yield strength divided by d by t as you can see that uh, I have uh, directly multiplied uh, this particular two terms uh, where uh, always consider uh, the wall correction factor as 0 0.875 for every calculation if it is not given if it is given for uh, some particular problems then you have to use that particular wall correction wall thickness correction factor that I have used and I have uh, got uh, the value as 1.75 as a numerical constant then I am estimating that so along with safety factor as burst pressure is equals to safety factor into so uh, when i estimate i got uh, the value as 7034.11 so i am just uh, uh, multiplying uh, with uh, 0 0.82 as it is given in the question the safety factor for uh, burst pressure is uh, 18 percent so I, you have to follow the same procedure what i what what i said uh, about safety factor in terms of collapse pressure. The final value I got as 5767.97 psi. After I estimated uh, completely the value for burst and collapse pressure, what I got for a different uh, in, inner diameter, 4209, th these particular values. So you can see that uh, the collapse pressure is getting increased when there is a decrease in inner diameter, or you can say when there is an increase in thickness. And uh, it is also same for burst pressure. Now let us uh, we have now we have to calculate the collapse and burst pressure of a required and uh, we know that uh, the depth is equals to 14,000 feet and uh, when we are calculating collapse pressure we have to see that as I explained you previously external fluid density minus inner fluid density. So here you given in the question that when uh, in collapse in the collapse condition uh, the fluid which is present in the annulus is nothing but uh, cement so here i am just using the density of a cement and the fluid uh, which is present in the casing is uh, water the density of cement slurry is uh, 15.8 and the density as we all know that the density of water is 8.33 or 8.34 so after uh, just simplifying this i got uh, the answer as a uh, 5430.88 psi and after that uh, when i am using for burst pressure so the same thing what you have to do is we have to multiply the density of the fluid which is present in the annulus minus or the density which is present inside in the annulus then we have to multiply the density of the cement slurry which is present in the casing uh, minus density of water which is present in the annulus so as you can see i just simplified uh, this particular term and i got the answer as a 5430.88 same as uh, the collapse pressure so here we have the magnitude of uh, collapse and burst pressure then we just have to compare uh, these two values uh, over here as you can see that uh, 5430 so 5430 will come under 12.301 uh, whereas you can see that it is uh, 570 5740 psi the pressure is and uh, even you have to see over here that it can come under 596 which is uh, 12.031 so here is a conclusion that uh, the collapse pressure with safety factor is uh, 5740 and the burst pressure is uh, 5, 5961 
and the magnitude what we have calculated is uh, 5430.88 that lies to the value of 12.031 inch uh, we can say that 12.031 inch inner diameter casing is the best one these are the references what i have used uh, to prepare uh, this presentation and uh, follow me on uh, youtube facebook and linkedin and for this presentation you can uh, visit uh, my page on slide share the link will be given in the description and if you have any kind of uh, queries then you can use my comment box so that's an end. If you like this video, then hit like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel Petroleum Universe and uh, press the bell icon for uh, to get latest notification of my videos. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Bye-bye.